Okay, I'm done. Wait, wait, we're with part 15 of Geo Walkthrough. I was doing something different, obviously. Okay, so we're on treasure chest 16 of 21. Unfortunately, I think it was number 12. Took a little bit of time because of the underwater. I forgot that you could steal a crab, then possess it, just to make it my life easier. But nope, I had to do it the hard way and try to figure it out on my own. Instead of just using a walkthrough to just cheat. But anyway, here we are. Okay, so it's on the southeast. Run line to end of the Okay, close off entrance to a tunnel. That's interesting. Wow! I uh, found it! Wait, did I find it? Thought I found it. Oh, wait! No, I did find it! That was easy! Okay, so we have to use explosives to open it. Yep, there it is! Wow, that was too easy. Was that weird? That was very easy to find that treasure chest? I guess so. Huh. Wow. Open sesame with explosive. Oh, right. And now we need a dog. Yeah, I just love the ability that we can summon these just with the ukulele. Dumb freaking weapon. Or dumb musical instrument used in this way, but I don't mind that. And also, it just makes it so much easier because, let's face it, what dog would come all the way out here? Very hard to find. That was easy. Good doggy. You want me to pet you? You want me to pet you? No, no, get back here. Darn you, Ducky. I hope you have a good... Ah, we need a seven a crab. Man, this is just a three-part process, don't you think? Okay. Okay, ah... Uh, dude. Just to find your treasure chest and then all the process that do all this. Seems kind of excessive much, don't you think? Okay, cool. Alright, this one's short. So, Wally, what are you saying? So, basically, Wally experienced, which was one of the interesting story elements, backstory-wise, that uh, Puen Dua was creating the Fadra, or he was seeing the people literally losing their souls and becoming soulless husk, or the fabric soldiers that we've been fighting. So we've been killing human beings, but... We won't tell Gia that, because that would probably give her PTSD. I'm never going back. I missed the last pickup, and they must be looking or they must be looking for me by now. I managed to stay out of sight so far. The fruit die has helped me stay nimble and reactive. Aircraft raids have intensified, and the city has gone quiet. Something is brewing. Clearly. Oh, got a trophy! Live wire. Looks like I got to the max stat. Oh yeah, I mean, I, I knew how it was. Okay, moving on to 17. Nice. Alright, so this one is all the way over there. So I move by left airlock stick if it's not acting up. So kind of all the way over there. Okay, small cave, no explosives, just a digging animal and a crab. Sounds legit. As I love to say. Time to fly. As I've been saying for close to three hours now. Have I been bored? No. Suffice it to say, I have not been bored. I was only frustrated once, and that's an accomplishment. I mean... Considering, yeah, I only been frustrated just once with the underwater level, but that was kind of on me, and I was like, why am I getting frustrated? I was like, this is on me. And then once I realized it, then I was like, you know what? I appreciate you, game, for doing that. 
to me. Irritate me just a little bit, but no, that's on me. Okay, so north... Okay, so we have to go onto the north side, and then there's supposed to be a cave. At least we don't have to go through this, because I already completed this. Wait. Should I say? Save. So what would happen if I got 100% on the game progress? What would happen? Oh no! No, I'm kidding. Why, you thought I was going to be dramatic and kind of be done like that? No, that's not happening. Hey, there's something there. There is something definitely there. Yep, there is definitely something there. Man, these markings are clever. Okay. I guess I could just crawl. Nope. I guess I could be a dog. It just seems like I could easily get in there. A dog could get easily fit in there. Yeah, yeah, let's try the dog. Sorry for summoning you again, doggy! Oh, you're a cute doggy. What the? Why can I not? Ah, oh, dang it. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to. Wait a few seconds. Dang it! That's on me. Alright, now it's eight minutes. Let's go, Krabby! Alright, so I don't have to wait long. About 17 seconds. Huh, what's up with you, crap? Just stay right there. Please don't disappear. Hey, where are you, crap? Did you just crawl away? You freaking crawled away. You crabby piece of... Mmm. No wonder you guys are called crabs. Crabby piece of douchebags. Making me some of you guys out in thin air. Stealing you away from your families. That's why we're doing all this. Alright, where's that crap? Ah, I'm on fire! I was literally possessing. Ah! Oh. Alright, well, he didn't go far. And we're done. Alright, more notes. I like reading these notes. Give me kind of Oh, Spire logo. It is real. I can't believe it. Hey! They're talking about that place. God Nagoza. God Nagosa has been torn about. Uh sorry. Uh God Nagosa has been torn apart, which we know. The throne room is floating in the sky above Oh, so he witnessed before uh yeah, Chia's parents were in charge, but now it's floating in the air because of Mavara. I found this piece of cloth among the rubble. I'll keep it as evidence. Mavor is real. He is here. I don't think A1 has seen him with their own eyes yet, but who else could bear such power? If Mavor is real, Phil, hopefully the Mass Warrior is too. I don't know who else could help us at this point. Chia! Obviously Chia. And if not Chia, it's Chia. Oh crap, I'm on fire again! I mean, I could have just used the rock, and that makes still sense too. Hey, Johnny. Okay, 18. My gosh, we're almost done. So now we have to sail to that freaking lawn island, and that's gonna take a while too. Ah, that's a rod. It's not exactly close, too. Okay, well that's close, so we can deal with that. Ooh, 
rod freaking thing. Oh my gosh. Where's the bird? Did the bird fly away? Nope, that's just a dog. That is a dog. I wonder if we could just use this tire to kind of just roll around. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Gotta keep rolling. On a tire. Okay, I'm done. It's gotta be a bird. How much time have we done? Ten minutes. Should we make this the last video? Maybe. Ah, neck. <laughs> so immature. Wait, are we on? Yeah, we're on 18. I don't see any food stand, so it looks like we're doing this the old fashioned way. Yeah, if I did this in the main story, this would have took me, uh, it would have took me a while. Uh, that's a fact. <laughs> Man, too bad there's no docking station at the other place. Because that is going to take time to get over there. That's gonna take some time, so I guess enjoy the beautiful music, and uh, I guess I'll be back. Man, I am determined to find all these keys. Okay, so we only need to find two keys there. Then 20 is... where is 20? All the way over there. Gosh, that's gonna take a while. Yep, on the Northwest Island. And then after the Northwest Island, then... Yeah, this is going to take a while. Alright, where's my ship? Looks like over there. Alright. Yeah, we might as well sail to the last island. Kind of over there. All right, so not too bad. All right, well, let's let the music play and I guess we'll be back.
Oops. Well, at least the game doesn't give you a penalty of crashing into stuff. And like Assassin's Creed. That works. Time to strum my ukulele and fly like an eagle. Okay, so apparently the next one. Okay, we gotta skirt along the cellar entrance until you're at the edge of the blah. Oh, yeah, okay, the buy in tree. Alright, so where is that tree? And there it is. So they about a slam cave. Wait, I think I see it. Well, that was easy. Is it me or this should not be this easy that it should be? I mean, I could just pick it up and then just throw it like a map, and there you go! Special delivery. Hello! 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 Well, obviously the dog. It's not like I summoned it like non-stop and he's like, Cubit, why are you summoning it again? I was like, because you're useful for digging. What the bloody... There you go. That's 18. Alright, time to read again. I'm on the run. Crap. Prentois must be looking for me. I know too much. With the power of Navora and the Wano on his side, I cannot afford to face him directly. Now, to mention the Ajuju just waiting to be a leash, I need to be smart about this and lay low for a while. So, is this a dead person's, ep well, I guess, uh, apocalyptic uh, log? That's what I'm thinking. Don't mind me, I'm gonna just pet you. Good doggy, as I put pet you invertedly. Move it on. Uh, if I can get past this. Okay, there we go. Okay, so it looks like the other one is kind of all the way over there. I didn't think I would actually find a treasure chest all the way over here, but here we freaking are. Okay, so it's kind of right there. Uh, as like, um, in golf, there's a birdie! Ah, that joke was tasteless. Yeah, I have kept my optimism up for four hours straight. Or possibly three. Gosh. My optimism knows no bounds. Okay, two giant statues. Well, yeah, there it is. Okay, so... Looking right there at the north. And there it is. That was easy. Okay, something about block off entrance. Well, that was easy. Come on, guys, you gotta make it a little bit challenging. Nah, this is the challenge is doing all this. There we go. Looks 
looks like I'm going through this way. It's always the crap, isn't it? Just to get me through tight spaces. But that's very useful. I'm actually glad that the crap exists in this game. Good thing I'm not claustrophobic. Because, man, so many tight spaces in this game, just alone. I would have never known this if I didn't look this in terms of the walkthrough. You know how long this would have took me? Days. Probably a few weeks. And, there we go. Alright, so this is the... Well, this was the 19th one. Now we have a 20th, so we're almost done. I'm still unsure if what I saw was a dream or not. The Mass Warrior is real too. Well, I mean, we went to the main story through all this. Not only that, but there were two of them. Two? One of them was missing an arm. Ah! Yeah, yeah, her. So it definitely is the one from the Legends. But who's the other one? They were definitely working together too. They read it on and while well, they raid an aircraft on Matra Noir and save a dozen people from being abducted. They arrived from the sky, just like in the stories. We might have a chance after all. I found this rare instrument after battle. I think they use it to perform rituals or something. Son of a gun! That's what I use! A ukulele that summons pretty much summons rain and does pretty much Deus Ex Machina. And attracts animals. And controls the weather. And controls time, in a sense. Yep, run thing. Yeah, that ukulele is just pretty much Deus Ex Machina 2. A freaking passion, and I love it. Alright, time to go. Alright, two more treasure chests. Probably gonna be a lot of sailing, but hey, I can deal. This has been a very, absolutely fun side quest. This is how you do treasure hunting and not make it feel tedious. They're leading to something. Solid backstory. Yeah, solid backstory with going through locales that you've been before, find out some new inventive outside the box kind of ways to solve these puzzles. Use holding all your skills that you learned throughout the whole journey to kind of figure out how to get through this puzzles. Yeah, the treasure chests are like the most unique puzzles. In fact, I say they're better than the totem shrines. Yeah, they are. They absolutely are. They are. They are. Are. Ah, oh, darn. Anyway. Alright, so now we have to go all the way over... I mean, this was at the time. It's kind of near that island. Is there a docking station over there? I mean... Kind of. Let's just get through the nearest docking station. So we can fast travel. It's the nearest one. I guess that one. Yeah, I guess that is the nearest one. That is so pretty to look at. That's too way- that's way pretty to look at. Look at that! Look at that artistry! Alright, well, I guess I can go silent because this is just literally a peaceful sailing.
three, three minutes. Did it take a while? No. But if you're trying to speed run this, it's good. This game's gonna make you take your time. That's a fact. This is a food stand. Let's eat there. Ah, the food stands. Very useful. Gets me food every time. And recharge instantly. And it doesn't cost any food. They're just there to offer food when I need it. Look at us close to it. Kind of. Is there another one? No, that looks like that's gonna get us the closest. And then, looks like we're sailing for the rest of it. Looks like I'm going that way. Dude, are you still sweeping? Okay. Alright, this is the next to last key. My gosh, this took like almost... Hour and a half? I'm pleasantly surprised at how long. This has been a very fantastic side quest. Yes, it's been a giant lawn fetch quest. I will admit, it has been a pretty much a fetch quest. But was it fun? Absolutely. Would I recommend it? Absolutely. I enjoyed the time I had with this, and I will not say that this has been boring. It's been absolutely fun. Plus, the backstory really kind of makes it interesting and not boring at all. The backstory to the pretty much the inventive ways of utilizing your soul powers, along with the animals that you've been using throughout the journey, that you have to use specific animals to dig up the treasure to ch cut the chains. Yeah, the treasure chests are the highlights of this, along with the totem shrines, even though they're basically couch tombs and they take so many cues from Legend of Zelda they've been pretty freaking fun they were fantastic like I said there's only one activity I wasn't really I wasn't really fascinated and wasn't really like it soaked me no it, it it did suck that one that there's only one activity that sucked in this game compared to the kind of like the morsel and the uh, delicious delicacy and man I'm getting hungry now that this game offered yeah this one cut us this one actually was pretty great okay this one is gonna be pretty unique it apparently it is we have to dive down into the center of the I guess the shoal patch Very unique. So it's there. That's interesting. Hey, what the? Did I glitch out? Uh oh. I think I glitched out. Well, I did glitch out. Good thing I saved. Again. Okay, so we need to dive into the center of the patch. Once we do that... So, sounds like close by. Okay, so once we dive in... Then, it's supposed to... Get us close. Is it close by?
Did I miss it? I don't see it. Did I miss it? I feel like I missed it. One thing, we're gonna basically get the crab. I know what we're doing now. That's. Yeah, right. Tideway. That makes total sense. Hey, okay, where are you, crab? Okay, where are you, crab? I saw you earlier. Off. I probably should have played it over here. I might have to look this up on YouTube just to find this one. This has been a one long fetch quest that's been pretty freaking interesting. Okay, so it's near a statue. I must have missed it. That's the wrong thing. That was definitely the wrong thing. No, you don't. Get back here, you! Gotcha. Get over here. And I got you now. Did I just literally... I just had it. Literally. Oh, hold on. Hold on. I just had that crab! Get over here! I got you now! How uh, many minutes have been? 38 minutes. Well, we're gonna finish this treasure hunt. Why is it over there? Okay, so it's apparently near a statue. Did I miss it? Okay, so near a statue. Oh, well, there it is. How about I'll be a son of a gun? It was right here. Oh no. Get over here, crap. Awesome. Man, that was. Kinda in there. All right. What's this one say? I need to find a safe place to plan my next moves. I spotted this little remote island. It seems an uninhabited, and I will head there tomorrow. I cannot carry much, so I will leave the strange. So I will leave the strange costume here. I think they'll use it for some sort of ritual. 
I'm not sure what's exactly next, or I'm not sure what's next, exactly what's next. I have to gather my strength if I want to help somehow. It's with the owl costume. That's interesting. Okay, this one's got my curiosity. So what's this gonna lead to? Well, on an inhabited island, that's the only one that I can think of. It's obviously over here. And I love it. It led back to the starting area. It literally is the starting area. Uh, I guess that's kind of like bookend, as they call it. They call it bookend. Either that, or they call it basically, hey, this is going back to where we started our journey, because that's literally where we went to start our journey. My gosh. How long did this take me? I feel like 33 hours. Not 33 hours for just the treasure hunt. Absolutely not. I think this whole experience in the game took me like 33 hours. Very surprised. Mm-hmm. Okay, it looks like it's on that small island right there. Yeah, it'll add time, but I think this is fitting a way to end it like this. And it's not too far, so this won't take me too long.
Okay, finally made it. Took me a little bit, but not too long. And after this video, I think we should end it here because then the next video will be the next to last video because at this point we are literally doing this video and then the verdict video because I think I I think we put a lot of time in Chia and I think we absolutely did enough. Yeah, it's not going to be 100% in terms of the game progression, but I... No complaints. Really, no complaints. Okay, so now, the final... Yep, uh, three islands, and... Now, we have to dig. Because X marks the spot. Come on, there's got to be a sparkle. And there it is. Alright, let's actually end this. Gosh, this took so... This actually took a little bit. But, I mean, do I want it to actually go really fast? No, I, I appreciate that it took its time. I have no complaints. It took its time. It let us... It really took its time. It let us explore the, the gorgeous world of Chia. They let us kind of shape shift into any animal, or really soul jump into any animal. I got no complaints. This absolutely padded the time in the best way possible. Alright, the last treasure chest. Let's see what this is all about. An owl hat. Okay. What? Okay, let me read this. I have... I Okay, I have been camping here for about three weeks. But I need to leave this island in a hurry. I can see a boat approaching as I write this message, and I can't trust anyone. It looks like two men are on board. One may be carrying something in his hands. I can barely see. Wait. This will be my final note. I can't afford to leave traces around anymore. I'm leaving the headpiece for the strange costume I found. I don't know if it'll be any... I don't know if it can be of any use. Whoever makes it all the way here, don't trust the spider and beware of the new moon. Vague. But intriguing. That was worth it. I kind of want to wear the owl stuff. Is that where? I kind of want to wear the owl stuff. I'm going to freaking wear it because you guys made me go through kind of like extra hours to do this. So, of course, I'm doing it. Wait, was the spider basically Mavora or or was it basically put into an off? And I got a trophy out of it, so no complaints there. Overall, that journey was pretty worth it. It was an interesting side mission, kept me guessing. It might seem a little anticlimactic, but I'm kind of very glad they didn't do DLC. That would have pissed me off if it was DLC. If it was DLC, I, I would have been angry, like, Hey, you need DLC to play this. No, make this integral to your world. And make it feel natural and organic. Don't just kind of like piss off a lot of people who played this game. No, don't piss them off and say that, hey, I am going to make you pay DLC to do this. That we're definitely taking a picture of her. Oh. 
For all the people we lost, they shall be remembered in our hearts. I mean, it doesn't make sense to take photography of the characters that we did, but it's necessary for character development that we already experienced in the main story. Totally worth it. Focus is on this. Taking a picture of her girlfriend. Might as well eat. I think this was a huge accomplishment. Alright, let's change the outfit. I mean, you gave us this outfit, so of course we're gonna wear it. Oh, I didn't know we had. Yeah, I guess dive it. Oh, the headless chicken. <laughs> I keep forgetting that's a thing. Oh, uh, yeah, we have. a spire logo. Why would they do that? Doesn't matter. Coconut leaves. I just like that they're so electric, but I'm gonna do traditional. Ooh, that's nice. Gosh, so many customization that's actually done well. Of course she's wearing her dad headgear. Why would I not wear her he her dad's headgear? I mean, it's a big part of her life. Oh, pirate. Do I have pirate gear? Just wanted to make sure I had the pirate... Ah, pirate pants. Bet I had the pirate hat. Let's see if we got the pirate hat. Ah, dart. Wait. Let me guess, we have the eye patch too. What the heck? No pirate. Ah, that's lame. Andy. Nope. Okay. Well, I guess I'll wear this pirate gear for some unexplained reason. No question it. Let's just deal with it. But there was an owl stuff, right? I just like that there's an owl costume. So what's this gonna do? Kinda curious. Will it give us like some extra like oh there were some pirate boots. What the heck? This is so cool. Alright, let's see what this does. Maybe this gives us some special ability? No, it's just there for some reason. Wait, is this kind of like a flashlight on the kind of like the gear that I got? Because if it's like used for K's, that would be cool, but it's kind of, well, pointless now since we got to the end of the game all right well guys i think this is a perfect way to end this 
Uh, so tomorrow we're gonna go ahead and conclude Chia and then finally focus on the outer walls. I think we accomplished very much a lot. So yeah, of course you can hit that like, comment, or subscribe. What was your favorite treasure chest? Oh, uh, my treasure hunt. What was your favorite treasure chest? Was it the underwater level when I was frustrated, or was it just like something that was so outside of the box that you were just like, aha, that's pretty clever. Okay, well, anyway, you can leave that like, comment, or subscribe, and have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and stay tuned for more content. Nail that line. Here we go.